Vladimir Putin may be maligned in the West, but in Uzbekistan, he's a welcome participant in an eight-nation summit. This was the Russian president's first meeting with China's leader Xi Jinping since the invasion of Ukraine. We highly value the balanced position of our Chinese friends when it comes to the Ukraine crisis, he said. We understand your questions and concerns about this. It was a public acknowledgement that there may be friction in what has been referred to as a friendship without limits. She said China is willing to work with Russia to demonstrate the responsibility of a major country to inject stability into a turbulent world. Russia's war in Ukraine has made its relationship with China even more important because the invasion has left it increasingly isolated on the global stage. And domestically, there are fresh signs of some dissent. Vladimir Putin is uh, the main existential threat to Russia, my country, I love. Nikita Yuferov is one of several local councillors in St. Petersburg who sent a letter to Russian lawmakers demanding that President Putin be removed from office. There are signs of high treason, they wrote. An incredibly risky move, seeing that an opposition politician in Moscow has recently been sentenced to seven years in prison for discrediting the military. But are you afraid of going to jail? We use only uh, words that um, Russian crime laws allowed us to call it like special military operation. Yuferov says he and others have received public support, but many have been fined. And in St. Petersburg, the court has signaled it will dissolve the council. Because while Russia's influence is waning internationally, Putin's grip on power inside the country remains strong. Briar Stewart, CBC News, London.